Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of decimals on a number line. This is standard 4.2H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got point J on this number line, and it looks like this number line barely has anything on there. We've got a 7, and we've got a 9. So we need to figure out what does point G, J represent, either 8 point something or 7 point something. So how do we figure this out? Well, we can tell visually where this 8 is. Right, so you see this line right here. I'm not going to draw over it. I'm just going to point it out. See how it's slightly thicker than the other ones? So that lets you know that's going to be a major boundary number. And obviously what comes between 7 and 9 is going to be 8. If we wanted to verify that it's exactly in between the two, we can count how many little tick marks we have. So... Between 7 and that thick number, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tick marks. Between 8 and 9 and that, that thick number is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tick marks. So it's going to be between 8 and 9, which look at that. Look what that does. That helps us eliminate two answers, uh, 7.12 and 7.13. And so now we've just got 8.2 or 8.02. Hmm. And I, I see where the 2 is coming from because it's two tick marks after the 8. So how do we tell the difference between the two? Well, let's look at our place value. So we've got this right here. So these are your 1s right here. And so up until 4th grade, we were learning just just up to the, the ones place all the way to the left and then numbers got bigger and bigger and bigger. In fourth grade we start introducing the decimal point and numbers that are smaller than one. So we've got tenths and we've got hundredths. And these tenths and hundredths have the THS at the end because they are smaller than one. So how do we figure this out? Well, let's see how many spaces there are between 8 and 9. We're going to count the spaces because think of it like a fraction and you're counting how many pieces a shape is broken up into. Well, I've got a line between 8 and 9 and it's broken up into pieces. Let's see how many pieces. So I've got one piece, two piece, three piece, four piece, five piece, six piece, seven piece, eight piece, nine piece, ten pieces. All right, so I'm going to write a fraction right here and I'm going to put a denominator of 10 because there are 10 pieces between 8 and 9. Now the numerator right is going to be the tick marks so this is your 1, 2 so it looks like this is going to be 2 tenths and let's just count to make sure I've got 3 tenths, 4 tenths, there's your 5 tenths halfway through, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths and then 10 tenths makes a whole. So that is your next whole. You're not going to say 8 and 10 tenths. You would just say 9 because that 10 tenths makes another whole. All right, so it looks like my, my J right here is 8 and 2 tenths. Unfortunately, I don't have anything written as a mixed number, but that is one of the big learnings in fourth grade is how to relate decimals and fractions. So this 8 is in the ones place. So I'm going to put that right here. And this 2, look, it's right there. It says it, tenths place, tenths, tenths. You notice that I've got a place value, tenths. So how many tenths do I have? I've got two tenths. So I don't need my hundredths right now. I could just leave that blank. But there, there we go. This is 8.2 or 8 and 2 tenths. Those are the exact same thing as 8 and a mixed number 2 over 10. The answer here is going to be B.